Hello guys, welcome back to another video. It's your boy Edmund, you know what it is. <coughs> 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 That's peak. It's your boy Edmund, you know what it is. Uh, this is a discussion of thoughts video today. Um, yeah, after reading, finishing the icons, something's off by Virgil Abloh. If you haven't seen that video, I did an unboxing of that. So be sure to check that one out. But it got me thinking uh, about the sneakhead community as a whole and what a sneakhead actually is and what it actually means. And I was sort of struggling to really put my finger down on what a sneakhead is. Uh, recently, it seems as though everyone is a sneakerhead uh, with everyone wanting to buy the latest and greatest sneakers releasing week in, week out. But is just owning sneakers something that qualifies someone as a sneakerhead? Uh, I did do some research online and the definition I found was a sneakerhead is someone who collects and trades sneakers as a hobby and who typically is knowledgeable about the history of sneakers. From that definition, it suggests that a sneakerhead is a collector and someone who has knowledge about the history of sneakers. So does that mean that one must know the history of the sneakers they're buying? Or is buying the shoes alone enough to be counted as a sneakerhead? Because surely the constant buying of sneakers can be seen as a hobby, which is, I guess, seen as a passion. Uh, that brings me on to another point I was thinking of, and that's the size of one's collection. Is a collection of five sneakers enough? 10, 20, 40, even 100 plus we see these huge collections online everywhere. Does one need to own a lot of sneakers to be considered a sneakerhead? Uh, some people like myself don't actually want to own a lot of sneakers uh, because of reasons like us not needing that many shoes. Uh, we want every shoe in our collection, our small collection, to be worn. Uh, we don't want to be spending ridiculous amounts on owning those shoes that some may not ever be worn because of the price we paid for them. Is there a specific number of sneakers one must own before they're classed as a sneakerhead? On that, comment below the amount of sneakers you do own in your current collection and whether or not you have a limit on the number of sneakers that you have to own. Because for me, it's five. I don't think I'll ever... No, it's not that I don't think. I know I'll never own more than five sneakers. If there's a new shoe that's coming out and I want it, and I look at my current collection, I know she has to go because I just don't own more than five. <laughs> on the other side of this discussion is the knowledge. Uh, how much knowledge must one know about sneakers to be considered a sneakerhead. Uh, nowadays, do people even care about the history of sneakers anymore? It seems as though people just really care about the looks that they can just slap online and post on uh, Instagram to get uh, a lot of likes. Yeah, it's tight. There are people on this earth who know everything and anything about any sneaker model from any brand. There are even people who know things about models from certain brands, such as just Jordans. I know people who just know a sneaker looks good on their feet such as the Nike Dunkler College Navy, which I did do an unboxing video on, so be sure to check that one out. But I guess out of those people, which one consider a sneakerhead? Because really, all of them have collections and all of them share passion in sneakers. So those have been my thoughts, but let me know yours in the comments down below. That's been it from me. I'll catch you in the next one. Bless.